Welcome to the third event of the B League here in the Ring of Fire. I'm the Emperor, and the Heat Wave gonna throw another new challenge at our B League competitors. The A League just faced it. We'll have to see if these teams have learned from some of the great runs, like we saw the Greenies domination, or how to avoid the mistakes of the Time Warp. We're gonna start this off with two time podium finisher, the Sterling Swarm, and they are gonna have a very nice run. I think they just mimicked the Chili Cat's Eye strategy. And they're going to shove them all in the 7. Look at them going sideways there for a sec. But 28 shoots them into with the Chili Cats. I've got second with in the A-League. So they're already in great position on the Sterling Swarm. Red Roulette's up now. They got 10th back in Season 2. It's been downhill since then. But this is going to be a good one. A 6, a 6, a 7, and a 7. We saw that split a couple of times in the A-League. Team Plasma up now in their Neo uniforms. See if they can get some success going for them this- Oh! Well, successfully knocked over a block! They did not successfully complete the run. That is going to be... 14. That's even worse than the Time Warpers, oh boy. Not good for Team Plasma. Here come the Celestic Scions now in those sparkling uniforms. Remember the Celestic Scions trend. Get last in the first event, get medals in the next three in a row. Can they do it? Well, they're in second now, with a s just one behind the Sterling Swarm. Let's see if they can hold that. As the Thunder Gods look to chip away at that. Hey, I think they got a 2-6, 2, six, two Oh no, they only got one in the seven. So 25, and that only slots the Thunder Gods in fourth. Venomous Viper's up now. Can they get anything going? They won gold, I believe, in the last one. That's not great camera work, but this does not look good for them. A 1, a 2, and two sixes only puts them just above Team Plasma. That's not good. Purple Rockets up now. Can they get a medal? Well, Orbit will head right into the final. Trey, that's worth 10, and the Purple Rockets are on the podium for now. Can any of these five remaining teams deny them? The Team Eagle's gonna lose one! Who's barreling into the ring surrounding the stadium, but still get a 20. Respectable for the, I believe, fifth place finisher, fifth place in season two. Dodgers up now, always a consistent team in the overall standings. Three sevens and a one here, shoots them to six of nine here. They are leading the overall standings here in the B-League. Oddballs, that's not going to be a good run. A trifecta of sixes and a two for just 20. With just two runs to go, the Minty Maniacs are one of them. They are up there in the overall standings, and with the Dodgers, I believe, in six still, they could try and capitalize off of it, and that's going to be a good run. Two sixes and two sevens shoots them into a tie for fourth place, which is one runner to go. That does guarantee the Celestic Science will have that memo and continue the trend. And the Royal Raspberries are not going to be able to deny the Sterling Swarm from winning gold. Their first gold in a very long time. They do the Chili Cat's Eye strategy to perfection. They win by one over the Celestic Science. And hey, look at that. The Purple Rockets fill off the final slot of the podium. And down there at the back, Team Plasma, the Venomous Vipers, Oddballs, and Team Eagle looking for a bounce back next event. But congratulations to the Sterling Swarm, triumphant for the first time in a long time, I believe since Season 2, block pushing. And the Celestic Science continue that trend, and the Purple Rockets, that's their first medal since the Season 2 B League. So the Dodgers hold the lead by two points over the Minty Maniacs. Thunder Gods were tied with them, but they did drop a third. And now the Celestic Science, Purple Rockets, and the Sterling Swarm are all charging up there. Remember, you want to stay out of the bottom four to avoid getting relegated league qualifiers, so currently the oddballs and below have some work cut out for them if they hope to make it to the A-League next season. Thank you for watching everybody, and stay tuned for the C-League edition of this event.